In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, some code. And uh, this code is uh, Python code, but it's been adopted by Jeffrey Lang um, from a C++ code developed originally by Bernd Odegaard. Um, so let's just take a quick look at Bernd for seconds. Um, he has a uh, some interesting links in particular to uh, financial recipes. And basically he has a lot of C++ uh, financial estimations, particularly in the option area and fixed income. Um, his code was adopted uh, by Jeffrey Lang. So he follows the financial recipes and he has chapter three and four and we're going to take some code here from chapter uh, chapter four. So estimating, or is it chapter three? Um, one of those two chapters. Let's go back here for a second. Chapter three, I think it's chapter four. It's chapter four. Okay, so uh, let's take that snippet of code. Uh, I haven't changed it other than to put in figures here that are consistent. So we're going to try to estimate the present value of a bond. And we are using this Python code. Only thing I changed here was the uh, values for the array. And we're saying that a coupon of 60 in year one, 60 year two, 60 in year three are going to be received plus the face value of 1000. And that's consistent with this estimation here. So when we run the snippet of code using a loop, the present value of the cash flows when discounted at 5.6% should be 1,010.77. And okay, so let's go back here. This is on the Vinegar Hill. Uh, portal. Let's copy and the link to Jeffrey Lang's uh, code you can find here. Just uh, uh, copy that link. Um, we'll go into online GBD. Right? So we'll just paste. Um, go again, copy, go into online GBD. and paste and let's uh, run. We should get a value of 101077. Okay, which we do. Okay, so this code works, it's useful. It's different to the previous code we had for Python here because uh, we're using a loop, right? So very importantly, the interest rate is 5.6. The time period we have is three years. NP range would say go one, two, three, stop at four. Okay, so it means uh, the times are one, two, and three. Um, and then we import uh, the NutP uh, libraries and uh, we're discounting the cash flow uh, in the screes. So we take the NP power, we must um, to do, to so we're discounting the cash flows of 60, 60, and 1,060 at one plus the rate of interest to the power of the time period. So uh, we print out and we get the, uh, pr the bond price uh, using the time period, the coupon or the cash flow and the interest rate, noting that the cash flows is an array of 60, 60, and 1,060. Okay, 